The SpaceX Starship might be the most impactful spacecraft of the 21st century, but there's one big design flaw with the Starship and Elon Musk is having a hard time fixing it. SpaceX is facing a heat shield testing problem. The Starship requires the heat shield to be able to withstand its belly flops into the Earth's atmosphere, but unfortunately the same belly flops are destroying the heat shield. Could there be a solution to the Starship heat shield testing problem? Let's find out. The Revolutionizing Starship The Starship spacecraft is by far SpaceX's greatest project. In case you did not know, it will not only be able to launch, but it will be able to also make a safe landing and be reused later for more missions. This sets it apart from so many other rockets since most of them had to be purpose-built for one mission and be disposed of later. This also makes Starships a lot cheaper than other rockets. In fact, they already have a cost of around $10 million per launch, which is far cheaper than any other spacecraft we've seen. This price is expected to come down even more in the future. What's unique about Starships compared to practically any other comparable ship is its form factor. Its outer shell is made completely of steel, which also brings down the cost. When making a spacecraft, you have to carefully pick the right kind of material to use on the body. It has to be something that can sustain all of the difficult conditions that a spacecraft has to go through. Ideally, it should be durable, but at the same time, it shouldn't be dense or heavy. The most important factor to consider is its extreme temperature resistance. When spacecraft go in, and out of orbit, they go through all kinds of different extreme temperatures. So SpaceX had to pick materials for the Starship with caution. The most common materials that are used to make rockets are aluminum and titanium. These are both lightweight materials that can withstand temperatures of up to 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit before degrading. Steel, on the other hand, can easily withstand temperatures of up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Steel also has the unique ability of becoming even stronger at extremely low temperatures, a property found in no other comparable material. The only other material that could be comparable to steel in terms of usefulness at least are carbon composites. However, there's a massive difference in price between the two. Carbon composites are sturdier and lighter than steel, but their cost starts at $200 per kilogram. On the other hand, steel costs around $3 per kilogram. As a business owner, what choice would you make? While steel would be a sufficiently sturdy material when it comes to leaving the Earth, it won't be enough for the other way around. The Starship would still have to go through extreme temperatures that even steel wouldn't be able to handle whenever it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Another thing to consider is the spaceship's belly flop as it re-enters the orbit. The part of the ship that's directly coming into contact with the atmosphere during the belly flop is going to have to withstand some intense temperatures. Because of this, SpaceX engineers designed a special heat shield on the side facing Earth during the belly flop. This shield would consist of countless different tiles that can withstand temperatures of up to 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's almost 900 more degrees than steel. The heat shield would play an integral role in making sure the Starship doesn't just completely fall apart whenever it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. However, recent testing suggests that making them work isn't as easy as Elon Musk had hoped. Make sure you keep watching until the end of the video to find out why. What problem is the heat shield facing? SpaceX recently tested out the Starship's new heat shield tiles that were supposed to prevent the rocket from disintegrating as it made its way back into the Earth's atmosphere. Can you guess what happened? Well, as it turns out, it wasn't much of a success. During a routine venting test of the latest Starship prototype dubbed S-20, numerous tiles literally ripped off of the ship in a violent manner. This was not how it was supposed to go. Each tile is about the size of a dinner plate, so having a bunch of these tiles flying all over the place also turned the SpaceX facility in Boca Chica into a workplace hazard. While Elon Musk may have come up with an ingenious idea to cool the spaceship down under extreme heat, he couldn't really find a way to secure the heat shield tiles onto the spacecraft itself. This represented a massive setback. The tiles were connected to the Starship's steel exterior through steel studs, and those have proven to be unreliable as far as grip goes. So far, SpaceX has tried to downplay these problems. After all, this was only the first time that SpaceX had even tested these heat shield tiles out. As we've seen in numerous space missions throughout history, it takes a lot of time and testing to get everything just right. But at the same time, there doesn't really seem to be any other alternative. This is turning out to be a bigger problem than the company expected, and it could potentially delay the Starship's full potential by years. 
This obviously won't be an easy task for Elon Musk. We've seen SpaceX overcome all sorts of challenges in the past, but this one seems to be one of the more difficult ones. How is SpaceX going to create a heat shield that doesn't fall off without blowing the budget? This begs the question, what was making the tiles shoot out? When the initial test of the Starship tiles failed, no one really knew what happened. Elon Musk even took to Twitter to confirm the news, but he also said the SpaceX team was working on figuring out why the tiles were being shot off the spaceship in the first place. While no official confirmation was given, most believed it had to do with the fact that the connection to the spaceship wasn't as strong as it could have been. Ironically enough, Elon Musk chose the hexagon shape of the tile so that it would be easier for them to connect to one another, but that might not have worked. It's not entirely clear whether or not picking some other shape could have helped the tiles stick to the spaceship more efficiently, but it's worth trying. The tiles shot out as the spaceship was undergoing immense pressure during a test, and that pressure clearly got into the gaps of the connectors. Although that's obviously something SpaceX engineers already knew, even the smallest bit of a gap can cause a hiccup like this, and it's clear that SpaceX wasn't able to eliminate all of the gaps in the spaceship due to the incidents we saw earlier. In all honesty, there might not even be a way of doing that, at least not yet. So is SpaceX addressing the issue in any way? Recent videos have shown engineers at the facility trying to repair some of the tiles, but it doesn't really seem like they've made any major structural changes. That might not even be possible until a new prototype of the Starship is made, so we might not see any major difference until then. However, until then, Starship will also have to face some other massive problems that can put the project's fate in jeopardy. Stay tuned to find out what those are. More problems for the Starship not everything is going well for Elon Musk and his passion project. While SpaceX continues to make strides in private space exploration, the Starship project is still having some major issues achieving some of its promises. The first issue is funding. SpaceX has received some massive government grants that could be cut down at a moment's notice. On top of that, space tourism still isn't cheap enough for consumers and not profitable enough to be done on a smaller scale. That's going to negatively affect funding for the Starship program as well. Aside from funding issues, there are also concerns about how reusable the rocket could be. As we've already seen, the tiles that are supposed to protect the ship ended up failing, and even though tests are being carried out, it'll be a long time before we see this ship in action. There's also a massive shortage of Raptor engines that all starships need to have. This is something even Elon Musk has admitted to being worried about. Overall, this is far from being a perfect project, and even though a lot of progress has been made, some key changes are still needed. How do you think the Starship heat shield issue can be fixed? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more interesting videos, click the video above. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on the most interesting Elon Musk news.